Y'all, Truth Hurts isn't just about female empowerment or telling a man all the things that you wanted to tell him when he's hurt you. No, the real meaning of Truth Hurts by Lizzo is being honest with yourself and being honest with other people. In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into how the song was made and we're gonna break down each of the lyrics line by line. And finally, we're going to talk about three takeaways that you can have so that you can be more honest with yourself and with people in your life if this song resonated with you. Hey friends, welcome to Music Mood and Mindset. I'm Krista, and this is the place where music lovers come to learn from the messages of lyrics, songs, artists, and anything music related about life and relationships and everything we need to be our best selves and grow in life. Thank you for joining us. Truth Hurts was released on September 17th, 2017, a full two years before the song actually blew up on things like TikTok and being featured in the movie Someone Great on Netflix. What's even more amazing about her is that she's not a quote unquote overnight success. She is someone who has spent 10 years just really grinding it out. And it's awesome to see because from all the singer songwriters I've talked to, that tends to be more of the case that you work for years before you end up actually making it. So it's really inspiring to see someone who has put in that kind of time and that kind of work blowing up in the industry. The song was written by a couple co-writers and notably produced by a man named Ricky Reed, who assisted Lizzo in actually getting all the words out that she needed to get out to write the song. The song was written on a very moment by moment basis. She ended up getting dumped via text message by this guy who said he was getting back with his ex. And she ended up going to her producer, Ricky, and telling him about how upset she was and how she didn't want to be in the studio. And line by line, all the things she was saying that day made the song. Okay, we've gotten into the fun part, the lyric part. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna take a quick sip of my water. I'm free, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% that B word. <laughs> I love this line every single time. It is the best thing. It's just mm, 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 mm. Primo line. Even when I'm crying crazy. Yeah, I got boy problems. That's the human in me. And it's really awesome that she's just, she's upfront about it. She just says, yeah, I got boy problems. That's the human in me, which is true. We all have problems. That's the human in all of us. Bling, bling, then I saw them. That's the goddess in me. She's, ex yeah, she's still acknowledging her strengths and her weaknesses. She both has boy problems and is a goddess. Really cool perspective. You could have had a bad non-committal. Yeah. I mean, here's the deal. There's nothing wrong with wanting something non-committal. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. But just be sure that you are very clear that that's actually what you want and don't just do it to try to get this other person to like you. Help you with your career just a little. You're supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back. Ooh, I can't even not like sing this song. It is, it's so catchy. Anyways, you're supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back. She's saying that you were, she was, the guy that she was with was supposed to be there for her, but instead he's holding her back. And it's good to acknowledge that because then it's easier to say, bye bye And that's the sound of me not calling you back. I love this line every single time. Yes, yes. Why men great till they gotta be great? Like, fair weather people, am I right? Don't text me, tell it straight to my face. Best friend set me down in the salon chair. Shampoo press gets you out of my hair. 
when you've been hurt by somebody, taking care of yourself is one of the best things you can do. So do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself nice and get that ball rolling in that self-love. Awesome. New man on the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, she had mentioned to her producer that she was having a Minnesota Vikings player slide into her DM. So she clearly, she was still getting it, our girl Lizzo. Truth Hurts needed something more exciting. There we go. That's the title of the song. And it's just saying sometimes the truth hurts for her and for him. And of course, she ends with bum bum be dum be dum bum be. <laughs> That's kind of a placeholder that she just kept in for fun. You tried to break my heart? Oh, that breaks my heart that you thought you ever had it. No, you ate from the start. Well, I don't know if that's totally true. If we've ever been in a position where this has been genuine for us, we usually don't have to say it to the other person. Like the impulse to tell somebody like, no, you didn't hurt me, probably means that uh, they probably did. Hey, I'm glad you're back with your other woman. And I mean, who would want to hide this? I will never, ever, ever, ever be your side chick. Yes. I put the sing in single on a girl. I ain't worried about a ring on my finger. So you can tell your friend, shoot your shot when you see him. It's okay. He's already in my DMs. Ooh, okay. Okay. I don't know the real story behind that. It could mean a lot of things. I'm going to hit you back in a minute. Again, boundaries. I don't play tag woman. I've been it. We don't, with lies, we don't do goodbyes. Okay, so she isn't afraid to cut off somebody who has hurt her. We just keep it pushing like, ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I have three takeaways for us that we can have so that we can be honest with ourselves and with other people in our life. The things that we can learn from our queen, Lizzo. And yes, there are room for multiple queens. Here we go. First takeaway is that if you can't tell the original person that you're upset with how you feel, get those hurt feelings out. Express them to somebody that you trust or express them through your music, like songwriting, like listening to a song that's going to help you get those feelings out. Just lean into them and trying to distract yourself from it is only going to make it last longer and come out in different ways. So first step is acknowledge your actual feelings and share them. Second takeaway is being honest about your strengths and your weaknesses like Lizzo does in this song. Being able to say, yes, I have boy problems. I have this problem in my life, but I'm also a goddess. It will absolutely help the process of getting over that hurt or moving on with your life. And the third and final takeaway is if someone is not the best for you, don't be afraid to cut them loose. And when I say this, I say this tentatively because this is definitely a case by case basis. But if you believe that it's right to distance yourself from somebody or cut them out, then, then do it. Put those boundaries up. Ultimately, boundaries are the ultimate expression of self-love. Thank you for watching the video today, guys. Make sure to comment down below and let me know how are you honest with other people and yourself and what kind of things in music, whether it be songwriting, listening to your favorite song, what have you, helps you get through these trials in life. And make sure to like the video to let YouTube know that you enjoy this content. And also in the description box below, I have a free quiz that you can take that asks you, what kind of music lover are you? And at the end of that quiz, you get a personalized lyric analysis if you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.